Hey there guys, welcome back to another PriceCP Roblox Studio tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to learn how to make a spinner in Roblox. Now you may say to yourself, oh yeah, that's easy, I know how to make a spinning part. But no, a spinner is not the same as a spinning part. You can see on my right here, this red block here is a spinner. So I can go and spin it whenever I want to, and I can stop it whenever I want to. As opposed to the spinning part, which is the block on my left here, the yellow block, and I cannot go and stop it. You see what happened when I go and stop it? So that is not a spinner. This one here, the red block, is a spinner. I can go and spin it, and it spins. Our spinner, there is no script in the spinner, but the spinning part, we have a script. And also, another difference between the two is, a spinner, it spins, and eventually it's gonna stop on its own. A spinning part keeps spinning. Let's now go to Studio and see how we can do that. So here we are inside Roblox Studio, and over here, my red block is going to be a spinner, and my yellow block is a spinning part. So to make a spinning part, all you have to do is go to your yellow block and add a script to the spinning block, but a spinner has no script. So if you want to make a spinning part, all you have to do is add the script to your spinning part, and it should make the part spin indefinitely. To make a spinner, on the other hand, you do not need a script. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to select my spinner. There is no script to it. I'm going to do a control D to duplicate. Now I have two red parts. I'm going to rename this to part, just part. And I'm going to change the color of my part to blue, let's say. And let's move that part up. So I'm going to click on home here and we're going to click on move. We're going to move our part up in the air. Now make sure your blue part is anchored. We only want to anchor the blue part and not the red part. By the way, when you make a spinning part, the yellow part here, you want that to be anchored as well. So only the red part here is not anchored. The other two parts are anchored. Next, we're going to look at the red part from the top down and we're going to go to our model menu tab. We're going to click on constraints, click on create and select a rod constraint. We're going to put our first attachment on the red part. And the second attachment is going to go on the blue part. So this is how it's going to look like after you have done that. Let's now play test and take a look. So there is my spinning part. It's just going to spin by itself, the yellow part. And this is my spinner. You can see it's a little bit unstable. It's spinning, but it's not very stable. So what we're going to do is we're going to tighten this rod constraint to make it more stable. Let's go back to studio. Let's first select the rod constraint. We want to turn off visible because we don't want to see the rod. And we're going to come down to the bottom where it says limits enable. We want to check that box. Limit angle zero and angle one. We want to change them both to zeros. As for our blue part, we want to select our blue part and we want to change the transparency to zero, I mean to one, to make it disappear. All right, let's now play test again and take a look. So here we go. Our part is not moving right now. I'm gonna give it a push and it's moving. Look at that, we got a spinner. If I want to, I can stop it and push it the other way. Now it's moving the other way, stop it and push it this way and it's spinning this way and that is how you make a spinner without any script in roblox hope you have enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe and we will see you in the next video take care everyone peace mm -hmm.